Former U.S. President Donald Trump spoke about the elections to be held in November. And Trump seems to think Biden's campaign is over, and he can barely contain his excitement. How did I do with the debate the other night? I kicked that old, broken down pile of crap. He's quitting the race, Trump said of Biden's disastrous performance at last week's presidential debate. The former president offered a withering assessment of his rival's electoral chances while he was out golfing, the Daily Beast reported, citing a leaked video it had obtained. I got him out the race, and that means we have Kamala, Trump said in the video, referencing the possibility of Vice President Kamala Harris replacing Biden on the ballot this November. I think she's going to be better. She's so bad. She's so pathetic. She's just so fucking bad, he continued. When approached for comment, a spokesperson for the Trump campaign pointed the Daily Beast to an earlier statement they had issued. Make no mistake that Democrats, the mainstream media, and the swamp colluded to hide the truth from the American public, Trump campaign advisors Chris Lachivita and Susie Wiles said in a statement. Every one of them has lied about Joe Biden's cognitive state and supported his disastrous policies over the past four years, especially cackling co-pilot Kamala Harris, the statement continued. Talks of a potential Harris ticket have grown following Biden's lackluster showing when he debated Trump last week. Gave me so much. How did I do with the debate the other night? Oh, yeah. oh amazing. amazing. Keep that old broken down pile of crap. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad guy. He just quit, you know. He's quitting the rest. Is that right? Yep. I got him out of the right. And that means we have Kamala. I think she's going to be better. She's so bad. She's so pathetic. She's just so fucking bad. So I just can't imagine. But can you imagine that guy with dealing with Putin and the president of China, who's a fierce person? He's a fierce man. A very tough guy. And they see him. They probably they can't. But it, it, they just announced he's he's probably quitting. Good. The United States will soon announce the transfer of $2.3 billion worth of weapons to Ukraine as part of the next military aid package, according to Pentagon Chairman Lloyd Austin. As the U.S. Secretary of Defense said at the beginning of his meeting with his Ukrainian counterpart Rustam Yumarov, the package will include anti-tank weapons, as well as missiles for the Patriot and other air defense systems. Make no mistake, Ukraine is not alone, and the United States will never waver in our support. Alongside some 50 allies and partners, we'll continue to provide critical capabilities that Ukraine needs to push back Russian aggression today and to deter Russian aggression tomorrow," Austin said. Austin said that the missiles will be provided under the accelerated procurement procedure, achieved via altering the shipment order for other recipients. He also added that during the meeting with Yumarov, they plan to discuss ways to meet Ukraine's security needs and create forces to repel possible Russian aggression in the future. Last week, Western media reported rumors that the United States would announce a new $150 million military aid package for Ukraine. This was supposed to happen on July 1, but American officials did not make any statements. With the latest $2.3 billion, the U.S. has committed to more than $53.5 billion in security assistance to Ukraine since the Russian invasion in February 2022. With that support, we have stopped Russia, stopped the aggression toward people, toward our values, national interests," Yumarov said in thanking Austin for the support. Austin said Ukraine continues to be locked into a relentless fight with Russia, and Russia is intensifying its bombardment of Ukrainian cities and civilians. During the meeting with Austin, Yumarov said Ukraine was looking forward to becoming a member of NATO. Hopefully soon Ukraine will receive its invitation.